Hey guys, Ryan here coming back at you with Top 5 Mondays. Um, it's been a few weeks since I've done this series. It's just been a crazy few weeks, but a lot of good things have been happening. And so, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Today we're going to be talking about Marlon Brando, who held my number one favorite actor spot for a long time. Um, really, just because The Godfather is my all-time favorite film, I always said he was my favorite actor. But since then, you know, Robert De Niro is pretty much taken over that top spot. But, you know, enough of that. Let's just go ahead and get right into my list. Number five is a film that he was nominated for, but he did not win the Academy Award, which I think he probably should have because it was such a great performance. And that was A Streetcar Named Desire. It is a brilliant film. Um, I'm not really going to go into the plot to these films because I really think that everybody, you know, can go on IMDb or whatever. And really, it's just, it's kind of a confusing thing to talk about without rambling on because it's based off a play and it's really melodramatic and really you know he plays a brute kind of character and so just go on imdb or something and if you're interested and you haven't seen it um make sure you check it out and watch it because it's a really brilliant film and also vivian lee from gone with the wind gives a, an amazing performance in this film too and so that's streetcar named desire number five Number four, this one's just out of pure fun. I love his role in this film. Um, this is on my webcam, and so if you see it lag randomly, I'm sorry. Uh, my other camera is full. i got to empty it out. But this camera is really bugging me, and so that's why I'm using my webcam, because it's bugging me, like I just said. And so it randomly will lag like that. So I'm sorry ahead of time. My number four is Superman, when he played Jor-El. This is such a fun film, and his role is really cool, and it's just the fact that he's Superman's father, and I really feel like he dominates the scenes that he's in. Superman 2, he's actually in the movie a lot more than he was um, in the Donner cut, which is my preferred version of the film. Not the actual theatrical cut, but Richard Donner's cut, and Brando's really good in that too. So, for Superman. Number 3... I was blown away by his performance in this film, and that was Last Tango in Paris, and he is amazing, amazing, amazing in this film. His performance is so brilliant. He's so heartbroken, stressed out, um, just in shambles, and he has such a great performance as a guy who lost his wife to suicide, and he is just like beyond himself stressed and like depressed and everything and he a lot of his scenes are improvised too and some of the stuff he does is such raw emotion um it's i mean i have not seen a character in a film so broken um acted in this way other than you know the films of john cassavetes um woman under the influence is what I could think of is like, you know, you really feel his character. He's such a raw performer in this movie. Um, of course, it gets a lot of, you know, people talk about how it's such an, it's like an erotic movie, and it's so far from it. I mean, I hate the stigma that this film has because it is a, it is a masterpiece. Um, he is such a broken man in this film, and people really need to see this movie if you're really into film. So, Last Tango in Paris. I think they actually have it on Blu ray now. And uh, it was directed by Bernardo Bertolucci, who's one of my favorite filmmakers as well. So, definitely check that out. Number two is The Godfather. Um, I know you're probably thinking, how, why is, you know, The Godfather number two when it's your favorite movie? Um, well, it's just because I like his num number one film compared to this one. Um, performance even more, but this one, what I love about Brando's performance in this film is the fact that he's not in a lot of the movie, but you feel his presence throughout the entire film, and that's really all I gotta say, because everybody knows this film, so, number two, The Godfather. Number one, On the Waterfront, another one of my all-time favorite films, his performance in this film is so amazing and inspiring, and he's just... You know, he could have been a contender. That was an awful impression. And I completely screwed up the way I was even supposed to say it. 
Um, but anyways, um, I don't really even need to go in depth about this either, but this is my number one. It's a masterpiece of a film. He won Best Actor for this, and he won Best Actor for The Godfather as well. And you really need to see this film. I think out of all these films, other than The Godfather, this is one you really need to see just for cinematic purposes, is that it's such a brilliant film. Um, so, yeah. Well, that's my list. I hope you guys enjoyed this list. Got a few um, cool series coming up. or I'm not going to say series, but... Um, ideas coming up for videos and so I hope you look forward to that I'm going to be having somebody actually kind of co-host a show with me on my channel and it'll be a lot of fun using Google Hangout which is a really awesome thing if you guys um, haven't seen that yet go ahead and check Google Hangout and start hanging out with your friends and stuff but anyways guys it's, it's a pleasure to be back and I will see you guys in the next video Remember, if there's three ways of doing things, the right way, the wrong way, and the chat away. See ya. What, I, what was this for? What did I do that for? <laughs> Alright guys, see ya.